Welcome back. I'm on to here on Stock Asia. Yeah, Stock Asia. We want to talk about Squawk Asia. It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> the stock price is up 63% so far this year. Some analysts say it could be heading towards 51 bucks a share. Not bad for a website that gets pretty much all of its content for free from people like you, me, and, well, maybe Adam. Uh, 2012 has been a great year for TripAdvisor.com. Third quarter revenues hit more than $210 million. For more, uh, let's talk to Aaron Hung, uh, Director of Partnerships Asia Pacific uh, for TripAdvisor. He joins us around the desk here at the SGX. The business model is working, sounds like. It's very working well. very well. Thank yeah. you, Martin. Thank you for having me here. It's Our pleasure. pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Seems to be working very well. Yeah. Uh, TripAdvisor is the world's largest travel website. Uh, we have 60 million unique visitors coming to our site every month. Uh, we have 75 million uh, uh, unique uh, um, user-generated reviews and opinions, so that keeps bringing the, the users back mm. to, to read our reviews and also share the reviews after they have traveled. Yeah. What gives them the incentive to do that, to be so interactive? It's really, I mean, over, we have been in the business for over 12 years, and it's, it's really developed this, I would say, the loyalty from the, from the global community. They come and read reviews that help them plan their travel, mm -hmm. uh, and therefore they come back and they feel that they also want to share their experience back with this global community, so it keeps on growing. It's an issue of trust as well as credibility too, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the best way to understand it is we look at the, the whole travel experience cycle, mm -hmm. from dreaming and planning to shopping and booking, yeah. uh, and then actually being on the trip, and then coming back from the trip to share that experience. Mm -hmm. The company's mission is to help uh, travelers around the world plan and have the perfect trip. Okay. So at the dream and plan stage, uh, uh, travelers would, would want to look at a lot of, of uh, um, up-to-date yeah. uh, quality reviews from, from travelers around the world. Mm. So TripAdvisor offers up uh, uh, 650,000 hotels, 1 million restaurants, 114,000 destinations, plus another 16 million uh, uh, candid traveler photos. So lots of content, yeah. uh, around 31 sites around the world in 21 languages. Yeah. Uh, what, now, do, what gives you guys a competitive edge over some of your customers? Because, I mean, there's so many online platforms these days when it comes to travel websites. Right? Competitors, yeah. sorry, competitors. Yeah, yeah. well, there, 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 there is competition, but I think uh, at the moment we are the largest in the world. Uh, with 60 million unique visitors, there is no other uh, uh, user-generated generated, uh, 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 review platform that attracts that many visitors. Mm -hmm. and, and because of the sheer quantity and also because of the quality, uh, of the review content in there. So it keeps attracting uh, uh, users to come back. Uh, mm -hmm. And therefore, it's become the biggest. And if you're looking at information, you want to go to the biggest uh, mm -hmm. uh, site with the most information sure. uh, uh, available in many languages and around yeah. the world. So the success of your business model is predicated on the fact that you get as many eyeballs as possible. Um, but the revenue streams actually coming from some of these ad clicks. Uh, what have you noticed in terms of those trends in 2012? Because it's been a really difficult environment for the global economy. Have you seen uh, any uh, deterioration or has it been a really good year on that front? It's, I would say it's been a very good year. Uh, we look at the traffic that, so, so because of the, the revenue model is built on traffic, Mm. So it's very important that we keep on uh, being valuable to our users, therefore they keep coming back and therefore traffic grows. Right. Uh, our traffic around the world has grown from about 50 million unique visitors in the beginning of the year to now about 60 million. So it's grown quite uh, steadily. Yeah. Uh, in terms of contribution, now we get about one contribution, one new review uh, every second. So it's, it's rapidly growing and that, therefore it brings people back. What I find real interesting is, uh, you know, you've got uh, hotel chains. These are big names. Best Western, Wyndham, Four Seasons as well that are incorporating and allowing uh, reviews of including their properties on their websites, even if they're bad reviews. I mean, that, that says a lot to me. Yeah, I think it is now an accepted trend uh, that people will track, check the reviews on TripAdvisor. I look at all the nice marketing material on the hotel website, on an online travel agency, on an airline site, when you look at hotels. This price looks good, the description looks good, the picture of that whole bedroom is perfect for me and my partner, and my mm. wife, to go on a nice long holiday. Ah, but let me check what it says on TripAdvisor. For hotel websites, for online travel agencies, it's very important to convert that interest mm. into a booking.
So they want to keep the traffic on their site, mm -hmm. so therefore they are they working They want it authentic on. as well, even the bad reviews they, they allow on. Yes, right? because frankly, uh, uh, no hotel is perfect. There sure. might be something that is, that is uh, on, on a bad day, there might be one bad review. But I think TripAdvisor users now uh, are used to that, and they understand that when they come to TripAdvisor, they don't just read one review, they read a number of them to get yeah. an overall view. Yeah. Okay, it's real. I think that's the, that's the difference. Great stuff, Aaron. Thanks for coming on. Happy New Year. Thank See you, you in early 2013. Take a holiday fast. <laughs> okay, that's going to do it for this uh, New Year's Eve edition of Squawk Asia. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, next up, we're going to get over to the U.S. for all the latest developments on the fiscal cliff. Until the next time, though, from all of us here at CNBC, wishing all you folks out there the very best for the new 2013 year.